and we're Facebook Live. We're on live? Yes. All right, welcome everybody. Give me one second. Let me share to my Facebook page and we will get started right away. Let's see. See if I can get a little faster thing here. There we go. All right, welcome everybody. I am live from Grand Cayman on Seven Mile Beach, and we're going to do a free live trading session for all of you. You can trade from anywhere in the world. I'm standing on West End Hotel property. You can see behind me, beautiful West End Hotel, right behind me. And if I'm gonna turn around this way, you guys see the beach, world famous Seven Mile Beach, all that way. So as long as you have an internet connection, you can connect from anywhere in the world. So let's go on and walk out here and let me share my screen. That way you guys can see. Allow permission. Let's see. All right. So the first thing we're going to look at is the Forex factory. Make sure we've got news that is going to affect us at any point. Let's see. We just had... Some speakers that spoke, but the next main thing that's going to happen at 10 a.m. is the Fed Chair Powell is going to testify for the U.S. dollar. And then it's not going to be for another four hours when New Zealand, Royal Bank of New Zealand Governor Orr speaks. And then Australia and Canada, they'll have speakers. So nothing really going on as far as news or surprises today. What the headlines are saying now is more about the coronavirus. Most of you know what I think about that. It's overblown, hyped up, and it's a not as drastic as they say. They're just making a big deal. I guess they're trying to wag the dog or cause people to look away and be fearful of something else while they're trying to prepare. Maybe the economy is going to take a dive, and so they're setting people up. Oh, the coronavirus caused it. But we know better. So the stock market is pushed up pretty high, and it's due for a pullback. And we've had some stocks that are moving. Nothing major that I'm seeing here. And the, other than the Fed Reserve chairman right here, Harker, he says interest rates should hold steady for a while. So that is good. That means they're not going to raise them. They're not going to lower. If they lowered them, then the market would take off. It'd be good for the U.S. dollar. Let's take a look at the charts. And y'all are able to hear me okay? Yep, it's all clear. All right. All right. So here's the US dollar and it is at a peak. I'm still expecting the US dollar to take a dive to fall off at some point. It has pushed up for quite some time, but it may be doing well against a couple currencies, but not as good against uh, one or two. So, you know, the dollar index or the currency indices are a measure of the currency against a basket of other currencies, like five to six other currencies, depending the major currencies of the world. And it could do good against four and bad against two or vice versa. So if it's pushing up right now, it's saying it's doing better than most of the currencies. Though if we take a look at one of the charts, like say UCAD and you see it's coming down, well, you know it's not doing necessarily as good against UCAD compared to 
the Japanese yen, the euro, or the Australian dollar, or any other. So I'm expecting a pullback, and I'm going to give you a five-year time frame real quick. Let's pull that down here. There you go. So still pushing up. That really looks like we're getting close to a peak, and we should be possibly going to have a pullback here pretty soon. But the U.S. dollar is still pretty strong. Let's see what the British pound is saying. You hear the rolling of the waves as they come up on the shoreline. Let this chart load. So we know the British pound broke and it fell down to another low area and it's bouncing back up a little bit. Whether it pushes up or comes back down, it still remains to be seen, but we're kind of at a resistance area where you see in the middle of your screen, right between September and 2020, that three bar, three peak, and we have pushed up into that area, which is a general resistance area where we're at right now. So I'm thinking the British pound may take another dive here pretty soon and we will be ready for that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the, I'm gonna share the charts here. All right, so let's look at US 30. As you can see, we're at 29,443. I'm gonna go out a little bit to the month time frame and look, you can see how high up that is very elevated as it's pushed way up. On the weekly time frame, we get a little bit closer. We zoom in, we see we, we have a few choppy weeks, a couple weeks back where it dropped and then it picked back up. And now it's surging up a little more for the week, but we do have a, a high point at 29,513 or somewhere thereabouts that we will, let me just see what that number is exactly. Twenty-nine five thirty. So that's the current all-time high. We're at twenty-nine four forty-five. So we're less than a hundred pips off of that high point, and we could hit it, or we could turn back. So let me see. Move that out of the way. Take a look at the daily time frame, and we are pushing up on the day. So we're still, it's kind of like a high basing setup that's going on right now. And it's still very top heavy. So whether it surges ahead or pulls back, that's kind of what we're waiting on to see how that's going to play out. But if anything, the higher probability is for a sell, even though it's still in a bullish setup, looking to rally a little bit further. So that's kind of what we're expecting. And we will see in the next couple of days if it does but we have to keep an eye on it. So H4 time frame, it's still in a bullish setup. Everything is looking good to continue higher. But like I said, the bottom could fall out at any point. So we're just waiting to see if that's what's going to happen. The market, U.S. market will open in about 16 minutes, give or take, 930 Eastern. And we should be seeing some volatility as we get closer to that time frame. It is pushing up, like I said, on the lower time frames. Let's take a look at gold. So this is gold on the monthly time frame. You see that we have gone way up and then we pull back for this month of February, but we look like we're ready. We pulled back and we're ready to go again. So on the week time frame, let's see where we're at from this standpoint. You see, we had a nice rally, then a consolidation, a bull flag pattern. It broke out again there in the middle, rallied hard to have another little pullback coming, but it looks like we're just pulling back a little bit and it's getting ready to rally again. So that's why looking at this chart, I'm expecting gold to rally and the U.S. stock market to take a dive. When the U.S. market takes a dive, gold generally does the inverse action generally, as I said, not always. And it 
goes the opposite way. So this should rally if the market falls. Now they're very volatile and they will chop. They do not want you to capitalize on the movements, but you can if you follow the smart money and you anticipate what is going to happen. So we're expecting a major rally to take place. Let's take a look at the daily time frame, see if it's almost ready. You see, we had a nice crossover there on the major and intermediate, and we're still in a consolidation pattern, a little pullback here. The lower it pulls back, the greater the buying opportunity. In my opinion, I don't think we have much more to fall. Everything is looking good. You see that right there? That is a thing of beauty. When you see that, say, wow, it is really holding that support level. You want to learn how to trade. You need to learn moving averages. You can join us at globaltradingarmy.com, and we will teach you the basics, intermediate and advanced, and help you become a master trader where you can make money from the market. We teach you the right way to do it, how to use proper risk management, and how to keep the right mindset so that you will not fall into the traps that most people do if you just follow the good trading strategies and the established risk management rules. So here we are on H1. Come down a little further, looking good. So everything's still setting up for a nice buy on gold and the inverse I'm expecting. On U30, when that opens, we're looking for a nice dive there. So let's see, take a look at the pound against, well, pound dollar kind of moves slowly compared to GA. Let's take a look at GA. I said the pound would look like it's getting ready to rally. We're still in a nice setup on the longer time frame there. Big pullback for the month, but it could be setting up for a nice move to the upside. The week has a little pullback but it's still very bullish. You can see, if you know how to read the charts, you can see that it's still in a bullish move up, though we're in a pullback. It's a great buying opportunity. That is beautiful right there. You know, I'm really liking what I see on the daily time frame right now with GA. Are we in GA on a, say, on a trade idea? If not, we need to get ready to call it because this is a setup that is beautiful. I really like this. I think it's going to pop come right up off the bottom. That's a nice support level. Everything looks good there. Could get one little drop, but it doesn't look like we have much more downside. Everything is setting up for a nice rally. When the US market opens, we may get a little boost on this. Let me check GCAD just real quick because Canada is gonna be opening soon as well and see if it has a similar setup. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. GCAD as well. We might get some more movement out of GCAD than we would out of GA because the Canadian market is going to open and Australian market should be closed. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing right there. All right, so let's call GCAD buy at market 1.72. 100 GCAD buy at market 1.7200. I'm going to do that right now. And let's see if we've got. All right. So I did a buy at market 1.7200 is my entry. And we are going to make money live from the beach here in Grand Cayman. I'm going to let that ride for a little bit, but that looks great. And a stop loss, we can do a stop loss. Let's see, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna say 1.7140, which is 60 pips. So a stop loss at 1.7240. And we're going to take profit at 1.73, uh, capture 100 pips on this one. Actually, I'm sorry, 1.7040 is my stop loss. 1.7040, take profit 1.73. So we're going to have a risk of 
60 and a reward of 100 if it plays out in our favor. So let's just see how this goes. The market's going to open in about 10 minutes, but we're, we're definitely going to watch this. Everything looks really good. Do we have any questions on either side? Anybody that wants me to look at something while we wait for the markets to open? Any, any of our members on our private channel or anybody on Facebook watching our live broadcast? I'm just going to show you one more time where I'm at. So here I am standing live, Seven Mile Beach. Get you a nice look. The beach goes way out there, way down on the western side of the island and just gorgeous white sand. Very soft. A lot of people are already out and about. And there's a view of the West End Hotel. And the rest of the beach going all the way down. You see the cruise ships in the harbor way down there. We've got one, two, three, four that I can see. There may be a fifth one out there. So several cruise, cruise ships in today. We're going to have a lot of passengers on the island buying up and checking out the beautiful beaches. But this is where well, you're at. Definitely a teaser for all of us watching. Um, some people are stuck in a rainy weather. Oh my. <laughs> you have a chance to look at UCAD, please. Um, but that's beautiful. That's definitely awesome that you're able to enjoy and share through your lens the beautiful island, Seven Mile Beach. Yeah. It is, it is currently 9.21 Eastern Standard Time. Cayman is on Eastern Standard Time. They don't have daylight savings time here, but we have the same time zone currently. When New York falls back, or I'm sorry, springs forward, then they will go, um, when New York springs forward, they're going to go one hour behind Grand Cayman. So you, Ked, let's take a look at that real quick. And UCAD probably in the same situation that I explained on Sunday, Money Move Sunday, I said that UCAD was uh, likely going to fall. The US dollar was setting up for a big move back to the downside. And we we're just waiting for that to play out. So if we look again at the monthly time frame, that's still a beautiful picture. You see, we've got that inverted hammer right now. It's upside down. It looks like we're getting ready to fall. So we should come all the way down, let's see, to the bottom of these other wicks at 1.2950. So that's going to be about 300 pips. It could happen in the next uh, couple of weeks. And here's the weekly time frame. You see we're pulling back. And you see the precedent here, the pattern in the middle of the screen. Each time we hit a peak in this area, we pull back. So the expectancy is that... We're going to have another drop off and we should be due for a decent drop off. But however, if the U.S. dollar is proving to be stronger than the other currencies, then it will take off and we would push higher. So that's the only if. See how the next week plays out. We could trade sideways in this area and then push back up to above 33. And then from that point. Let's see. doesn't allow me to draw on the screen, but yeah. okay, there we go. so here's a, the way it works. So right here, you see this line right there. We could trade sideways, drop to this point, and then put a candle straight back up here. And we could keep pushing up. So that's the thing we got to watch out for is that it, it doesn't turn and rally like that. I'm expecting that we trickle down like this because of this precedent right here and this precedent right here. That's kind of what we're looking at. Just got to take our time and analyze effectively. 
and wait for that to Thank play out. Thank you so much. Also from Zoom, we have Joseph is asking about AU. Okay, AU. Mm -hmm. Give me yes. one second. We got about four minutes for the market is opening and we're at 29,450. So the US market is still pushing up a little bit. So let me move this one up to where I can see it. So we're at 1.7201 by 1.7203 on GCAD, looking like it's wanting to push up. So we may be in a great position for that to be a buy. So AU. Don't have that on this setup, so let's add that. Did I not? I must have passed it. Oh, there it is on the bottom. So I would be expecting Australia to rally off of the bottom if the US dollar is going to fall. So the month is starting pretty good where it's pushing up. We've got the week that has a nice strong week candle. We could pull back one more time or we could just keep going up. We'd have to break through that resistance area that you see that we're in right now. So it may be a slow mover, take its time to push, but we could get one more pullback on the daily candle, the tomorrow's candle, and then start picking back up or we, we just start trading sideways and moving up each time. But it's still just a matter of waiting for this to play itself out, show the definition on the candles, that it is indeed going to keep pushing up and break above 68. But we're currently in that zone, like I said, in a resistance zone right there. Let's see what the dealer chart is showing. Okay, still pushing up. That's a great looking view. I would be a buyer of it right now, even for a short term. We're at 67.40. We could probably get 10 or 12 pips out of that for sure to hit that resistance zone, but it is close to a potential pullback. If you look on the chart, we got lower highs and lower lows. That means that it is still not ready to rally hard. We got to come down and put in a higher low and then we make a higher high, et cetera. So I'm still not a buyer or a confirmed buyer on this just yet. All right, a couple more minutes until the market's opening. We're doing pretty good on our entry with GCAD. We're up about two pips so we would wait at a 0 0.20 which is a lot size you see right there 0 0.20 that is two dollars per pip if this goes 100 pips that's two hundred dollars it could happen today it could happen by tomorrow so you just take your time and let it Thank play you. out Let's see. justin yes. um so i have someone asking what is your stop loss for gcat please 1.7040, 60 pips. I entered at 1.72. Thank you. So we're just waiting another minute and a half until the market opens, US market opens. We had a little pop just now, went up about 15 pips. Let's take one more quick look at the live view from Grand Cayman standing on the beach here. Guys, you can trade from anywhere in the world. You want to set yourself free. Look, this is what the wealthy do. They know how to trade, and they trade currency. They trade stocks, and we can teach you how to do that, slow and steady. You learn one day at a time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And you can compound $100 to a $1 million in just over three years, taking your time, earning 5% a week. Say 5% a week, that's crazy. No, it's not. The banks make very good money. On a very conservative basis, they can make uh, three to five percent a month, and they're taking your money and they're making millions and billions and hundreds of billions of dollars while they're paying you less than one percent on your money by storing it in their bank, in their vault. They're using your money to make money. Okay. So the thing is, if you want to learn, you can come and learn to do it the right way. Take your time, grow your money. We will teach you. Let's go ahead and get back over here. We're about to make that trade here. 
All right. Sure, and do we have any questions on Facebook Live? Here you go. The market is open and getting a little volatility right now. We're at 29,450 and dropping. Like I said, I expected this to probably uh, drop. Let's see. Definitely want to get in one here. Oh. All right. So I did a sell on the US market at 29,457. I think it's going to come down. They're really just shaking it up. Uh, it could go up a little bit, but not too concerned. So I'm doing a 0 0.01 on this at 10 cents per point. So if this drops 100, then that'd be $10. This market is so high up, it is due for a massive drop off. But again, they will shake you out as best they can to try to get you nervous and that it's going to go to the moon. Meanwhile, all the indicators are showing major overbought. So they're pushing up a little higher. Let's check in on GCAD. GCAD's still lingering right in this area, 1.72, so it's not moving too much just yet. Got to let that play out. It may be a, a few hours before this plays out. We could get 50, 60, or 100 pips in a couple hours. We just have to let that ride. All right, back to US 30. And here's gold. Remember I said if gold, if the US market goes up, gold will go down generally the inverse if the u.s market comes down gold to pop so it's pulling back a little bit because the market is pushing up but i'm still expecting that market to drop so it did push up about 20. Oh, we're up about 30 so we're close to an all-time high it looks like they're wanting to take it back there to that all-time high maybe or this could just be a fluke I would just wait. I'd be a seller of the U.S. market. It's going to move so quickly. Just be patient. Let that play out. And actually, let me, uh, we're at 11. So the GCAT has dropped a little bit, down about seven. It should turn here in a little bit. Like I said, it's going to play out over a few hours as the market gets moving. Yeah, we're going to let that ride. Let's see. Just watch the U.S. market, U.S. 30. Let's see, Dow Jones, call it the dirty 30. It is very volatile. It can make you a lot of money or it can take all your money if you do not know what you're doing. Trade uh, slow and steady. Take your time. Use proper risk management. And then you can do really well if you follow the rules and make sure you keep safe. You need a good education, you need mentors, you need people that are gonna walk you through step-by-step, step, encourage you every step of the way. So still pushing up just a little bit. And I'm not in very deep on this, so everything still looks good. Let that play out. Welcome to everybody watching live on Facebook. We are trading live from Grand Cayman. So sometimes when you get a pop, this is a straight up pop. This is going to come back because they're taking it up. That is, you see how when it did it here, right there it went up and it came right back down just a matter of 20 or 30 minutes later. It's gonna do that here. So you can scale in through the method of dollar cost averaging, averaging down, scaling in. It's a very solid method. Let's see, I'm actually going to loosen this up because I'm really thinking this is going to be a better uh, all right so I got in another entry a 0 0.02 there at that's 20 cents a point so if it falls 100 points which it could do in 30 seconds that would be twenty dollars if I increase the lot size then obviously you make more money but you need an account size you need to trade based on the account size, do not over leverage your account. So that is about a 60 pip move so far straight up, 65. As the market open, it is not very normal that it's gonna take off like that, but 
I'm believing that the reason they're doing that is to shake people out there, stop hunting, which means they're moving it up to stop people out and they're going to bring it right back down. Putting people in buy orders and closing out people's sell orders from their stop losses and then they're going to bring it all the way right back down. Just watch the magic. Takes a little time to play out, but you will see it. And again, I'm standing here live in Grand Cayman on the beach, Seven Mile Beach in front of the West End Hotel. You can trade from anywhere in the world. All you need is an internet connection. As long as your phone works or you get a Wi-Fi signal, you can trade. Analyze charts, take your time, set your parameters. If you want a trade team, you want people to help you that analyze charts with you, talk about trade ideas, you can join us. We are growing by the day. People from all over the world learning how to trade from their phone. Learn while you earn. When we make trades, you can follow us. It's like copying off the smartest kids in the class. You get to see. Look over our shoulder like you're doing right now, watching me trade, see the charts, how it plays out, how it works. When we enter, you can enter. When we close, you can close. You see where we put our stop loss, our take profit. And then when we make money, you make money. Let's see how GCAD is doing. All right, GCAD dropped about 15, but it will... That could be the stop hunt before the before the move back up. Because on the longer time frames, we are on a channel, lower channel, and we have entered into oversold territory. Yeah, I'm expecting a bounce here pretty soon. That does look really good right off of those support lines. So still the expectancy is for a move up. And it may not happen here within the next 20 or 30 minutes, maybe a few hours, but it is definitely going to rally back up. Just be patient. Let that play out. And again, we're waiting on the US 30. That's what we're looking at right now. It shot straight up upon opening. So we made one entry and then we did a double down on the second entry at 29,000, about 501. So we're just waiting for the bottom to fall out of that. It could happen in a moment. You could see it fall 400 to 500 pips in just a little while. I was on a cruise ship last summer in the Caribbean and the market decided to take a dive. We got in and captured that. And in four hours, I took $20 to $500 from my phone sitting in a jacuzzi on a cruise ship. And it was using US 30. It had dropped five or 600 pips or 700 pips in just a few hours. So again, you see how straight up that is. Normally when you have something that goes up, it's got to come right back down. You're not going to have a big move. I believe this is a shakedown to move straight up like that. It has hit overbought territory. We're at 82 on the strength index. So just let it play out. Give it a little more time. That is one nice big candle. Anybody else have another chart we'd like to look at while we're waiting and watching this pair? Y'all are quiet today. I guess they're just um, mesmerized by the beautiful view that you have. You're sharing with us who can focus on trading when you have the sun right. with the ocean 
in your ears in the beautiful beach. Are they still able to see the uh, the image of the ocean or no? Right now, no. We can see oh. your screen or the chart. Oh, okay. I thought it might have shown the <laughs> shown the the view of the beach. Uh, we were seeing it, but now it's just it's stuff in your chart. Your yeah, chart. no worries. Mm -hmm. Sit down over here. In the shade, it gets hot really quick. All right, so it's still pushing up. US 30 has gone up, let's see, 70, about 75 pips straight up, not normal. And we are at the all time high, 29,530. That's why I said it may go to the all time high. Just have to let it play itself out. And just be patient. But when it comes back down, it's going to come back down hard and fast. So just watch with me. We're on the five minute time frame. And US 30 is very volatile, can move 30 to 50 pips in a couple minutes, can move 150 pips in 30 seconds. All depends on what's going on in the social, economic, or political climate. One tweet will send us 100 miles an hour in any direction. And again, we're at the double top. So here's the daily time frame. We just hit a double top almost. We're off a little bit. I'll show you right here. This was the previous high, 29,530.4. And we just hit 29,522.5. So we're about 7.9 off of the all-time high. Came just short of it. And that could, that's right now considered a lower high, unless they break that, that plane of 29,530.4, then it'll make a higher high. And that would take out, most people are gonna put their stops, stop losses right above that. And banks like to go for that stop loss area, take out all the stops and then move it back in the other direction. So a little more volatility, just let's see how this is gonna play out. Check on GCAD. All right, so GCAD bounced back a little bit. It did come down to 71.79, and it's bouncing back up to 71.91 again. It's gonna have it shake and bake. You just know what the long term says, and you get yourself on that side and prepare for the big move over the course of several days or a couple of weeks, and you'll be properly situated. So we're still lingering on US 30. Nothing major has happened yet. When we have a breakdown, let's say 100 pips, I'm at 0 0.02, 0 0.01. That would be 30 cents. So $33 if it moves 100 to about the 370, 380 area. Goes to 380, that's $33. Goes to 280, 66. Goes to 180, $99. Just have to let it play itself out. Thank you for tuning in for all of those who are watching live on Facebook, watching from our member side on the VIP uh, channel. Welcome to all of you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Or those of you that did have your day already, that you had a great day and you're ready to get some rest tonight. All right, so let this play out one more time as we wait for this drop to come fast and furious. And here's the key. When you're watching uh, live trading, what you have to understand, there's a lot of pressure because of performing in front of an audience and wanting to make sure that you're right, that you don't lose money. So the key is, that you understand you can watch. And sometimes a trader is gonna be a little early on their entry, but they can have the overall direction right that it just may take 30 minutes or an hour before it starts playing out in their favor. But you are in a much better situation or position when you watch a live trading session to capitalize and make much more than 
the person that is doing the show than the live trading master. Why? Because you can be patient. And if it goes against them a little bit, goes against them well, you get a, a little better entry. You don't have to take the same exact entry that they do. So like I entered at 29.57. Uh, Let's see down here, wherever this is at. Yeah, 29,456. So I entered there my first entry. If you would have waited a little bit, then it shot up all the way. My second entry was at 29,500. So about 45 pips. If you would have waited, you would have got it there and a little bit better entry than me. And you would have waited a little bit more. As it peaked here, you could have got it at 29,520. Okay. And you'd end up making it off much better than the person doing the show. It's all about anticipation. It's about patience because you're sitting there watching. You don't have any pressure on you to do anything other than make your entry whenever you see it's fit. Now, if you don't know how to trade, obviously you wait, you learn how to demo, learn how to trade on demo and follow the rules. And then eventually you will get good at making your orders and seeing what the chart says, reading it effectively and how it moves. And then you will start to make money. Don't rush the process. It's like getting an education to be a lawyer or a doctor. The more money you wanna make, the more time and dedication you need for this skill. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it and we'd all be trillionaires. It's not really that easy, but it can be learned and it can make you a lot of money. It's how the wealthy get wealthier, how they make millions and billions of dollars. I tell the story often, Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, made $6 billion in five days trading in January of 2018. That's a, the biggest trade we know on record of an individual. And so he did a phenomenal trade, made a lot of money, $6 billion with a B. You ever heard of anything like that? One guy. Now, what did he do? He may have had $1 billion on the trade or $500 million and it multiplied 600 or 1,200%. Either way, he made a lot of coin. And there's going to be one day you're going to watch J-Rock do that, sitting live from a screen, and I'm going to see something so overinflated, I'm going to be setting up, show you guys live and say, this is a trade I'm entering. We're putting 500 million or 1 billion or 10 billion on the trade, and we're going to make 50 or 100 billion in a week or maybe a day. That day is coming. Have faith and believe, always prepare, speak things into existence, speak with positivity. It doesn't always have to be easy and look like it's going to work out. And it's, most of the time it's not. You got to fight for it. Many of you know okay. that. Amen to that. Amen. So we are watching US 30. Again, I'm on the beach in Grand Cayman trading live. And we are I'm going to take you down here to the shoreline. You're going to get to see one more time for those of you that have joined late. So here you go. I'm on the beach in Grand Cayman, West End, standing in front of the West End Hotel. Got white sandy beaches, very soft, crystal clear water. Way out there, you could see over 100 feet straight down. And see, for miles down there, you see the cruise ships in the harbor. We have at least four that you can see. Where all the passengers, thousands of passengers have offloaded this morning and they're heading into the downtown area to be tourists and check out the beautiful island, buy some souvenirs and take back home. And then the beach stretches for another couple of miles that way all the way down to that point. Very beautiful. The climate here is probably about 85 degrees, I'm guessing. Beautiful climate. Right. Oh, when I grow up, I want to be just like you without a beard. <laughs> yeah, you may end up having one before you know it. Uh, yeah, but like I said, speak things into existence and it'll happen. So here we are. We're watching. We're down to 29.4. 90 below 490 right now and it's starting to come back and it's a it was an impulse move setting up 
for a shakedown is what I call a stop hunt, shake out and take out, or a fake out and take out. They want to get as many positions broken. They want positions out of the hands of the weak, and they want to get it all for themselves. So they'll run it the other way, stop you all out because they want your money. And the best way to do that is run it hard one way and everybody gets stopped out and then gets on the other side and thinks that it's going to keep going. And then when they get on the other side, they turn and run it back the other way. And you say, who are they? The people with the money, the institutions, the hedge funds. They're the ones that are trading hundreds of billions of dollars. And they are the ones that control the movements of the currencies. They control the movements of the, the stocks and the options. So once you see big movements, it's called following the smart money. You see where they're moving the money. And once you see where they're moving the money to, then you can take advantage of that as well. Following the smart money. So we're watching US 30. We got about 10 minutes until the hour turns over, a little bit longer, and then I'm going to let you guys go. And I have another meeting to get to in about 40 minutes, and then another meeting after that. So you guys will be in good hands. You just watch your trade continue to develop and you move your stop loss into profit as it continues to go in your favor. Let's check in on GCAD. We entered at 1.72. It's down at 173 right now. So it did drop off a little further. And I would hold at the moment. I said 171. Um, I think I said the stop loss at 170.40. It should be at 171.40. Yeah, we were able to correct that. Thank you. Okay. And you told the person that was uh, asking about it as well? I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Thanks. Okay. That's great. So that has had pretty good drop off. Definitely low basing. We have a lower price and a higher strength. So that leads me to believe that we are going to bounce here pretty soon. And we are definitely in the lower channel. You can see that lower channel right there. I mean, that's a thing of beauty. I mean, to anybody that's watching, this is what it looks like. Do a quick screen screenshot. That uh, wasn't too straight, but bam, right there. So that's your lower channel trend line, and you've got your tops going across here. So as a triangle pattern, coil pattern, it is winding up, as they say, and getting ready to move. So what you have to do is, just capitalize on the movements in the trend until you see the breakout. Once the breakout comes, then you are in good position for that move. Discard that. So just be patient on GCAD. It should play out maybe by tomorrow. Should be nicely in profit. And now we're at 29,477. I'm on the 15 minute time frame. You see that is coming back very nicely, dropping way down. And it should hit that lower point and continue to fall off. We just have to let that play out. All right, so any more questions? Anybody else have anything they wanna ask before I let you all go and end the session? Anybody else have anything they need me to look at? I'll take, I'll take one or two more pairs and then we will be on our way. Yeah, when are you taking the GTA crew to Cayman Islands? <laughs> um, once y'all have your passports and visas and everything ready and you're, you're ready to get a suntan. Okay, sounds good. We'll plan that. May have our Absolutely. first conference here. Yeah. It, is, it is one of the most expensive places on earth, so we may pick a, uh, a less expensive destination, but I don't know yet. We'll see how but that goes. But we're Forex traders, so we make money, so... That's the, that is we're not going to worry about yeah. that. We're not going to worry way about to, that. <laughs> way to speak faith. Yes. So we'll get to that point where we can do that. Absolutely. All right. All right, guys. So we've gone about an hour and we're just watching this drop a little bit further. So it is looking good. And once this continues down, it may take a day to play out, it may take a few hours, could take the rest of the week. Today is Wednesday, but eventually 
you let it play out in your favor and you will be in good profit, be able to capitalize on that, make whatever your account size will allow. So you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. And we will see y'all tomorrow live for the London session at 3 a.m. New York time, Eastern Standard Time. I'm Jay Rock coming to you live from Grand Cayman. Over and out. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye now. Bye. Thank you.